Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the channel. And it's time again for another tale of catching another shoplifter. However, I'm going to tell you, on this one, I was I was afraid. I was afraid when I was going to make this stop. And um, I was doubly shocked when I did stop him. All right, so we're going to get into another story of when I was uh, catching shoplifters. One day, I'm in one of our stores, and I'm reviewing video because we were actually looking into an internal case. And there was an employee that routinely had 20, 40 coming up short um, on their cash register pretty good indicator that they're pocketing a 20 here or there so i'm watching video i'm reviewing the video trying to see if i can spot um the the times where the register opens up video capturing hopefully the employee reaching in taking a 20 taking a couple of 20s stick it in their pocket i'll have plenty of those kinds of stories for you later but with this story i'm reviewing the video i'm watching the video uh, for one of the days, and I, I don't notice anything going on with the employee. But um, as I'm finishing up, I'm scrolling through that shift for the employee looking at the video, I notice a customer in the video. And this video was from like several days prior. So I noticed this customer and this guy, and um, he's, he's, really dressed up not not like in a suit or anything he's got the big baggy pants on big oversized shirt uh the guy was big he on video he looked really big um hat turned off to the side big bold colors and um so i i see this guy he really stood out because of these big bold colors he was wearing but in one of the shopping carts for the store, there looked like there were about 20 portable DVD players. So these were the DVD players. Um, at the time, these were kind of kind of new. And um, uh, we had a display of them uh, up towards the front of the store. Well, he had like 20 of these things in the shopping cart. And he look, looks like he's standing in line but um, he starts just kind of meandering over to the side with the cart. And before I realize it, he looks around real quick and he just walks out the front door with, with the 20 or, or more portable DVD players. And um, I'm like, holy crap. I just watched this guy steal that stuff on video. So I rewind, I rewind it and watch it more closely. Sure enough, he walks in, he grabs the cart. He just one by one loads these portable DVD players into the cart, goes towards the front of the store. I did not like the design of this store because this store had a design where all the registers were at the front, almost like a, um, oh, a TJ Maxx kind of thing. Um, where, where all the registers are towards the front, um, and you just walk in between the registers out to out the exit, a lot of hustle and bustle going on by the exit. So it's really easy for people to just get lost in that hustle and bustle. Who's in line, who isn't in line. If it's really busy, it's, it can become hard to tell. That's why a lot of these stores actually now they, they, they have a loss prevention person right in front visible. Um, at those entrances and those exits to deter the shoplifters from just getting lost in the mix and then walking out like this guy did. And um, so I'm just like, wow, I can't believe I just saw that. I'm looking for something else. And here I see this guy just walk out with the merchandise. So my, uh, my manager calls me up 
and he's like, Hey, I'm on, on my way to, down to that store as well. We were actually, we were, uh, he asked me how, how's it going? Did you, did you catch any video of that employee yet? And I'm like, no, I, I didn't catch that. But I tell him what I did see. I'm like, yeah, but I did, I did see on video a guy a couple days ago load up on a, a bunch of portable DVD players and walked right out of the store with them, uh, pretended he was in line and then exited the line and just walked out. Manager's like, oh man, that's too bad we, you know, we didn't catch him. I'm like, yeah, I know that would have been a huge stop. So he's he's coming into the store. And we were on our way out of town because we were going to be going for a different internal investigation at a different store in a different in a neighboring state. So we they they sent us out to uh, other areas, and um, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll uh, I'll just be wrapping things up here. When you when you get in, you know, he figured he'd come in. We'd see if maybe we could catch any live shoplifters for a little bit, and and then we would head out. Um, so. So uh, I'm waiting for him. He arrives and uh, I go out onto the floor and um, I'm watching the uh, watching the door. He's coming in. And uh, as as just as he's coming in, I look over towards the doors and the exit. And there's the guy, the same guy that I had seen on video. Easy to spot. Big guy loud colors and um and i look and another bunch of portable dvd players in the cart and so i see him i see my manager come in the door at the exact same time i kind of duck behind some clothing racks i make eye contact with my manager i mean he knows who i am out of everybody he, he makes eye contact with me, gives me the nod, and I point. I point him, and I, I just word to him, that's the guy. That's the guy. And I'm pointing right at the guy. He can't see me. My manager looks to the side as, as he's walking in, just pretends to just keep on walking into the store, um, and, um, and then comes around, comes behind the where I'm at, where I'm hiding, and yeah, and then we're able to talk. I'm just like, that's the guy. I was like, that's the guy I just saw on video. He's gonna do it again. And he's just like, this is awesome. We're gonna we're gonna catch the guy. And um, so again, I'm a little frightened because this is a big dude. I mean, I'm I'm six two, uh, about two ten. So I'm a, I'm actually a little overweight now. At the time, you know, I'm six two. I was probably around more close to 196 to 200. And um, so I've had people say, yeah, not too many people are going to mess with you, but I'm afraid of this guy because he's a, he's a big dude. So we're, we're talking now we, we have made some, some pretty physical stops before in the past. Those will be other stories. The guy starts walking towards the door walks out the door we had our plan we were gonna slam this guy because we're both just like okay he's big we have to hit him first we have to hit him hard get him down and we'll worry about the rest later but we know he's stealing our merchandise we've got a good stop he gets out through the first set of doors we slam through those doors behind him we are about ready to hit this guy and he turns around and he lifts his shirt, lifts his shirt up, and just yells, don't hit me, guys. Don't hit me, guys. I'm on dialysis. Don't hit me. I'm on dialysis. And he's like yelling, begging, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm on dialysis. And he's, he's lifting his shirt, showing us the tubes that he's got taped and, and all set up for dialysis. We stop. We're, we're just like, whoa, whoa, man, what are you doing? Why are you taking our stuff? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I need the money. I need the money. And um, the further we get a good look at the guy, he's older. Yeah, he's tall. But those big clothes were hiding the frailty of his body. He, he indeed, um, he was a sick man. And um, so 
so we, you know, we did. We took it easy. We're just like, well, you know, you know, you're you're you got to come back in with us, you know, and we don't we don't want to hurt you or anything. So just come in, and let's let's just handle this like men, and uh, we'll you know promise we will take it easy. And he's just like, okay, okay, I I, I promise. So he comes in, and um, we get all the merchandise. And um, start getting his information. We do. We call the police. Say, yeah, there's this guy. I mean, it's it's a big stop. He's got, he had all uh, all those portable DVD players, but then he had all the other ones I had on film. So we were going to show that to the police as well as evidence of, of a prior theft. So I'm talking to him about it, saying, listen, I've got you on video from uh, a couple of days ago doing this same thing. And he's just like, you know what? He goes, I've still got it all out in my trunk. I live down in the city. He's like, and so I've still got it all in my trunk. Um, I'll give it back to you, I swear. So, so the police are still on their way. They haven't arrived yet. My manager goes out there to, to retrieve our product. And he comes back inside. And he's like, we've... Uh, We've stumbled onto something here. This is this is big. And I'm just like, oh, really? And he goes, yeah. He goes, you'll you'll see when the cops get here. Police arrive. And um, because and he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna have I'm gonna work with the police on this one to get our merchandise back. This may be evidence. He goes, they may they may seize all that for evidence. I don't know, but so I didn't know what's really going on, but he's like, you'll understand when the cops get here and we'll, you know, we'll send them out there and have them get our stuff. So it's like, okay, police arrive. Guy's still just sitting there. He's, he behaved himself the whole time. And we've had some people that have like made runs for it, things like that. This guy was just chill. Uh, he didn't want to get hurt. He didn't want anything to happen to those tubes that were, you know, inserted and taped to his side and all ready for his dialysis. And um, police get there. We tell him, yeah, it's it's this car. He gave us the keys. He said that uh, you can go into the trunk and get our merchandise out. Police go out there. They come back in. And yeah, now I understood why the guy was stealing all of these portable DVD players. His trunk was full of bootleg DVDs. So he was going to be selling these bootleg dvds maybe throw in some uh you know a portable dvd player at, at a cheap cost to go if you bought a bunch of dvds from him well yeah now it became now this was big this was big i mean you've got all those bootleg dvds now this is this is a federal crime um that this man's facing so the cops were even just like, wow, they're like, this is they're like, this is a big stop um, that you guys have here. And it's not it, this doesn't just involve your merchandise. This this is pretty big. What's going on? I'm not sure what they ever did with this man, um, how they charged him or anything. Um, I'm kind of hoping that maybe he worked with them to. Uh, get to the source, maybe where, wherever he was getting these bootleg DVDs from or who his supplier was, who was manufacturing these things. I don't know if he cut a deal, but um, I'll tell you, um, I always remembered how I was afraid because we I thought for sure this is going to turn into a fight. This guy's going to just fight his way as much as he can. And when he turned and just like, pulls up his shirt no i'm on dialysis don't hurt me don't hurt me and then to see how frail he was i'm um, under all those the big clothing that he was wearing um, i never forgot that and so yeah i kind of always termed him as uh the uh the bandit that was on dialysis that was that was kind of how i always remembered him and uh anyway so i hope you enjoyed this story and that was, I, I always thought that was a, a pretty interesting one that had happened to us. And, um, and then, uh, so yeah, uh, we'll have more stories in the future. So thank you for uh, checking out my channel. Thank you for uh, checking out my videos. Give it, a, give it a thumbs up. At least give it a like um, if you could. I know I, um, I, I may not get all the, the most views, 
But um, if you could give it a like, um, that'll help. That'll help out my channel. That'll hopefully help the algorithm push my videos a little bit. Uh, my shorts, my shorts, I've had some shorts get pushed pretty good. So uh, I appreciate that. Anyway, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. All right, bye.